All right, I've started recording, so go ahead. Okay. I'm going to find out. Oh, wait. Right. Okay. Um, what I've been working on is, uh, well, it's basically this feature. I'll show you the feature file. I don't know if you've, um, uh, it's edit, why is it gone? Admin edit, edit charity feature now. It's slightly misnamed as a feature now. Um, uh, but it's about um, um, the uh, site admins being able to edit any of, edit, delete, and add any of the data in the uh, uh, in the database. Mm -hmm. um, and what we've got at the bottom is a load of scenarios for um, this a uh, new role, this role of non-admin, where the administrator can't, um, sorry, where somebody is a registered user, but they're not an administrator. Right. Um, so that's all fine, this is all working, these, these are all passing. Uh, um, but what we found is that in the controller, there's an awful lot of repetition. If I just bring up the controllers, it's the um, organization controller that has all of this. Okay. Um, and if we go, for example, to the create uh, filter, or the, the create um, method, what we've got each time is we're doing this current user try and create um, and we've got um, and let me just double check that uh, which code I'm looking at so What is this 47% at the very bottom? 47%? Um, right. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not very familiar it. with, I guess, uh, whatever. I think it's the number of lines that you don't scroll down the file. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of a, a text mode substitute for this, for the, um, for the little scroll bar. Um, and what right. program is this? Yeah, what I've... This is Emac. Okay. I've never used it before, so. Um, I've been using it for many years and still finding my way around it. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I, I can't use anything else. Um, I, I want to have a look at what changed. Oh, that's not good. All right. Right, just want to have a look at what I've changed because I've been working in this file already and I have stuff in my folder. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is what we had was, was try, is it an admin? Um, because of all this um, uh, repetition uh, and it shows it's worse in the specs. Um, I'll just jump to the um, specs file. Um, and this is down here. We've got, well, not signed in. We go. Uh, each time, each time we're doing the same thing. Right. And uh, the suggestion is, there's a, is that we have um, a model um, that uh, basically you ask it um, whether the whether the user can do something uh, rather than uh, uh, 
rather than have the logic in each controller to say, well, do they have the admin bit set? And if so, um, they can do this and and not that. And it should uh, simplify the code. Um, I'm hoping it will, but I'm having trouble explaining it. It looked really clear the last time we looked at it. I'm having trouble explaining what we're trying to do. I'm wondering if it would help if I just start doing some code in it and we talk about whether it makes sense when I start, start coding. That works, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I'll go into the models and what we've got in the models what we need to add is generator now let's see I'm fairly sure I'm on the wrong branch here I think what I need to do is just to uh, throw away that stuff. Have you ever used stashes in Git? No. Um, well, let's, um, let's do it in the shell. Um, because I've got... Um, I, I don't think I need these changes I've made. Um, but just in case I do, uh, I can... Uh, need to do that. That allows me to check out a different branch. Okay. Uh, I have lots of remotes, but it's this one here on um, GitHub. It's my origin. So if I do a git pull, um, Once you start pulling, not pulling a master branch, you have to, or a default branch, you have to um, keep telling which repository you're pulling from. But that's up to date. Good branch. Don't have a branch here. I'm gonna. I think I need to clone another branch into this VM. I must have been working on on somebody else's machine. Maybe Sam's. Oh. Sam's VM. And I'm sure there's a command line way of finding out what other branches exist remotely. But rather than do that, I'll just have a look at the website. Yeah, using dash can can. And can can is this uh, gem that um, has uh, some code and automation for automating this idea of user roles mm -hmm. uh, uh, and abilities according to the roles, so what they can do and what they can't do. Have you looked at anything? Uh, have you looked at it before? No, I have not. I think somebody had mentioned it in Skype before and that's about all I know. I hope you can just do this. then do check out. I'm not trying to merge anything. No. Nope. It's not check out. It's okay. Ah. Oh, what's it 
interesting. It looks like Looks like they've done some bad things. Uh oh. Well, that looks like a real mess. No, it looks like I'm trying to merge two branches. I definitely don't want to do that. I think I need to start again. Clone a branch, do you remember? Uh, clone a branch? No, I do not. Oh, maybe you clone everything. Maybe you clone. I okay. have cloned once, maybe twice total, I think. Okay. Right. I think it was at the very beginning of the SAS course. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and. A lot of these, there are a few, quite a few of these things a couple of months ago, and they have come back. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, you have to delete the local support. Uh, I think you'll probably end up. So when you actually clone your local support, does that also clone um, all the uh, the branches in it, or no? I don't know. I, I think I'm a, uh, judging by this thing up here. I think it probably does. But um, what happens if you do get branch? We can only we can only we can only find out it's not get branch because that makes a new branch. It's get oh, check out. Right, right, right. Uh, using dash can can. Right, well it looks like I uh, get Yeah. So Alright, so now we're on the can can. Oh okay. yeah. Right, now we're on the can we're now we're on this uh, using can can branch. Um, right. Kill that. And uh, Now we can go in and we see what we've made. Can can actually uh, gives you um, uh, a new model. It's not not database backed unless you want it to to be, but just it gives you a little template for a model. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's this file called Ability Ruby. Mm -hmm. um, And the idea is to just go through and keep using this method, can, and then send it roles that you can do, and the name, the names of objects that you can do them to. Okay. Um, and then you go and use these um, with another method called can query. Um, or some before filters in the controller to uh, to say, well, we don't uh, to to do things like uh, refusing to show pages or refusing to to, to do um, posts and deletes. Mm -hmm. um, so um, right, I'm going to bring up the spec file because I was working on a spec. Um, this being a refactoring mark, this being a refactoring what Michael and I were doing, uh, was just going ahead 
and uh, seeing if it was okay just to write specs for the new features where, or for the uh, changes in behavior where they happen. Right. Um, but not mess with it, not, hopefully not need to mess with the features. Um, so we're in the organization's controller like last time. Hopefully we'll see the c code that I recognize this time. Can you hear me all right? I seem to yeah. be getting some network lag that's stopping me, stopping the screen from reading. But here we go. I've got the screen now. Um, right. So we started working on create, like I said, and then I brought out some code that I didn't recognize. Well. Back here. We're doing all these uh, posts. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you can't really see the top of what we're doing. And this is um, while signed in as non admin. And this is all using the the can can gem, or no? This isn't using the can can gem yet. Okay. This is uh, this is what I wanted to start working on. Okay. Um, 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 what, we, what I was going to do is to go and, and, and make this um, fail at first. Mm -hmm. uh, it's passing now, at least it should be out. I'll, uh, this screen updates a little bit quicker, well, I'll, I'll run it in the background. One failure because right. I've moved to a different VM. I haven't got um, Is there a reason why you did sudo bundle install rather than regular bundle install? It's going to ask for my password anyway, so I just get it out of the way first. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I've not used RVM or either of these things for uh, for making Ruby a bit more. Um, Local, so right. just using the, the the standard Ruby the same way as we get it in the we got it in the CS one six nine course. Right. Okay, so I was want to make this fail, um, but uh, I'll go and make sure it's passing first.
No, I've got a breakage. I've got 14 breakages. Right. Oh. What's up to my um, test database? Oh, because I think you forgot the rig. But no, yeah, it's like right. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. completely new tree I've created. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it makes sense that um, you have to so run everything to, all uh, over again. I'll need to go create a test, a, data, a regular database as well if we want to run the uh, server and play with it. Yeah, I probably didn't do anything fatal to Git, but um, I'm not quite sure how to fix it. <laughs> so now that you ran, ran DB migrate, do you have to, I guess, run DB test repair again? while that's running, this is the code that I wrote that is supposed to fail the test, so I obviously com committed some failing code. Okay. It might be a lesson for next time, is just to do um, git log before I'm... Um, lots of red stuff here. Just to do git log before I start. Um, Message should have told me that I'd installed CanCan -can and caused some tests to fail. Right. Um, yeah, obviously, I didn't did it on. If I'd done it on that other repository, I'd have known that I was in completely the wrong place before. I got into trying to show you code that was um, another way to solve the problem, but half done. Right. Um, oh, this is all the tests that fail. Um, okay, so they're uh, failing. They like they should be failing. Correct? These should be failing. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. it took me a little while to get why they are failing. Um, Michael was pairing with me last time. He had a bit more experience with doubles because um, he uh, he made them. Have you done uh, part two of CS one six nine yet? No, I've only done part of part uh, part of part one. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping to complete it part one completely this time around. Okay, yeah. So we we see test doubles that um, uh, they've been using quite a lot for testing local support. Um, uh, but let's see if we go up to the tests, we'll see that. That's this thing, organization dot stub, and they, these show up in part two of CS169, but they're, they're quite well documented elsewhere. But it's worth getting more familiarity with Rails, I think, before we, you start um, uh, coding too many of these, except probably with a pair that's a bit more experienced than me with right. these things. Um, but this is, uh, the idea is that you create this... Um, 
object that looks in a, it's called an organization, but it isn't. Um, uh, this um, this method stub doesn't normally belong to model except when we're running this um, mocking test framework, um, and it creates this fake organization to play the role of an organization in a test. Did you use these uh, mocks in Java? They've come become quite popular in Java as well, apparently. No, uh, I don't think so. I, the last time I used Java was probably 2007, 2008-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, and it was just through classwork, so it wasn't really a lot of, um, you know, yeah. industry standards type, type stuff. Yeah. I think this was kind of what the cool kids were doing rather than the, what mainstream industry were doing. But anyway, this is a fake object that expects uh, the message new to be called, or it, it, the only method it has. This goes and creates. Um, uh, this goes and creates uh, uh, a class with a method new mm -hmm. um, that expects a parameters hash. Um, uh, that looks like that, and then it sets up this expectation. It shouldn't receive new. And then you do the test, and when end happens, the the uh, test framework RSpec goes and looks to see if this object received test re received new, and it didn't receive new, which is good because we're saying unless the current user can create organization, um, you create it. So we we're not uh, we're not trying to send it. Okay. I think we're not trying to send it new. Um, organization controller. Uh, so anyway, the, we we've got a count here. Oh, it's received the message can, and it's not not set up to receive the message can because we've um, changed its design. We've um, it was only supposed to receive new, and then it can do other. Th then it can do other things, but not in the context of the test. Mm -hmm. So it keeps happening, bang, bang, bang. All of these are the same message coming from different tests that all ask. Um, uh, all ask. All ask if organization receives new. So that's the first five tests. Right. There's six tests. Um, yeah. Oh, right, sorry. Five of the tests were about receiving can. This test number five. I read it too quickly. Um, why does it jump off the bottom of the screen when I do that? Stop jumping about. Right. Okay, it's expected not to receive the post um, command, but actually that it is getting sent the post command because if you remember our ability dot rb, it was all uh, commented out, correct? It was all commented out, so it's, uh, it it allows everybody to do everything. Right. Um, but what I think I need to do is to stop these things these test doubles from failing first because they're they're going to mess up our uh, test. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should do this one at a time. I guess there's no harm in doing it one at a time. Yeah, see if the first one works and... Mm -hmm. Um, so instead of uh, shouldn't receive new, we could look for something else that uh, which should receive can, but that's not terribly interesting, I don't think. <laughs> um, so.
So it's failing on the should not receive new part because it is actually receiving new. Um, it's failing on it should not receive. No, it's failing on on the this post? part, the part before, because it's receiving uh, an unexpected method, an, an unexpected message. Oh. Okay. Um, it's it's really. I think that's the same as message not understood, but I think the uh, uh, for some reason the mock framework is finding some other way of describing that. So uh, both of these are wrong. Uh, well, it should not receive new, so maybe I, I don't need to comment that out yet. Um, I'm not sure if I can, I don't know these terribly well, I'm wondering if I can just stub another method just by um, writing another line. Seven failures, and I'm wondering if the message is going to be different. Um, it's the only test I'm looking at at the moment is the with valid parms refuses to create a new organization. I think. So is it maybe the, the original, um, what was it, the mm. create method maybe? There's something wrong with that one? The one with the, the yeah. can question I mark? Think, uh, I'm looking at the wrong test. I'm looking at a test. I'm trying to fix something in a test that's not broken. With all these other things going red, I'm finding it hard to see the work for the trees. Um, but uh, they're not numbered or anything. These failures are numbered, but here I can just just see the line numbers. Right. Uh, so it's the fifth one. It's line two two nine. Which is this guy, and that's that's the one that um, I just picked arbitrarily to go work on first. And that one is failing. Yeah, at line two, three, four. Um, the failures at the post, it's expected. What's expected? Zero times. Oh, new is expected. Zero times, and it's received one time. So I think I've got this test failing for, failing for the right reason. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can convince you of that. Uh, no, it's making myself. sense. <laughs> right. Um, which means I can now go in and, and um, fix this by writing the minimum amount of code. Um,
But in Ruby, we can put not before a, a Boolean account reads it. I, uh, or I think the, um, isn't that a bang? Like a bang user dot admin question mark? Isn't that the same thing? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think we can do both. Okay. Um, I guess bang is slightly more ruby -ish. Um. Right, so just the absolute minimum is that Skip that block. You do nothing. I think we should do the same as this. The, this commented stuff literally came with the generator that generated this. Uh, okay. Code, and there was a bunch of documentation as well. So. Right. Delete it as well. So if the user is not an admin, do something mm -hmm. else, it can read everything. Or if else all readers uh, you're Right, yeah, you, yeah. If the user is admin, do uh, so, give it lots of privileges. If not, it can't do much. Right. So now that one should pass. If we understand can can correctly and if not, we'll have to go read the docs, read the source code and right. get it right. 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 Because now I think I understand it. We can um, just run one spec, don't we? I think I so. I put the I'm not in here, and it was two two nine. That way, I'm hoping not to be confused by lots of red messages. Right, right, right. I think it will go run the. Um... No, I don't think you can jump in in the middle of it. You can jump in and fail at line two two nine. Still so we've got the same it. problem as before. Can we actually instead of doing an if else statement, just put um Oh you're right, yeah. It's just it's the minimum amount of code. Right. Is So it creates a new user that can read only. I think TDD is a bit harder in real life than it is with the with classroom examples. <laughs> really got to force yourself to write the minimum amount of code. And it, it feels right. It feels quite strange. Oh, got a crash. At least that's something to change. I'm waiting for it to refresh on my screen. Right. Uh, syntax error in the, the model, so it's good it's gone to the model line 9. Oh, that's probably our can part. <laughs> yeah. I should hope so. And if that's line 6, oh, too many ends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the F you have to delete. going to run the whole file, but I think it's not going to be any different. It's, that's the same error as before, we set back to zero and received one. Okay, so it wasn't that. Mm -hmm. What happens if you actually, well, no, that wouldn't make sense. What were you going to say in case? Um, if it was can manage all, then that would still receive um, one time. 
and because right now we have it as can receive can read all or can read so if it were um can manage then it would still receive one it would still go through mm-hmm. yeah we're then would be failing for a different reason yeah can manage manage is, is all six um, actions right At least it's meant to be, according to the rare cast. Oh, I think you ran the entire thing. Oh! But it's still yeah. coming up in the same error, so it's, it might not be that, that's the error. Yeah, I get one, two, three, seven failures. I like this little graphic at the top. It just shows me in red how many failures yeah. there are. Um, right, it's the same failure, but um, I have to go in there. So it looks like that that line didn't really change anything. And no, it didn't. Um, uh, it's not a syntax error or anything weird going on. Right. Um, and all just it's supposed to mean just all objects, whether they're. Expected, but then it should. What 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 did we do to ourselves? It's uh -huh. Received one time, so we said can manage, and right, so it's still failing. But we should be able to say from here, yeah, either can manage or can read, and it's not working. Right. Uh, it's not changing anything. Um, so we need to go dig into that, but I have to leave the office now. Now. Um, it's, um, I'm going to go look at it later, but CanCan -can is, is a gem, so you'll find it on Ruby Gems. It will link to the documentation pages of it. Right. Um, but I'll go dig into it and find out why, find out what the simplest piece of code to make this path is actually going to be. I was going to say maybe something that has an admin reference to it, because before when... Um, with the commented code that came with the you know the ability dot ruby um, wasn't it re referencing like user dot admin um, but that's not referenced at all in the spec I don't know if it um, gets hit or yeah reference user dot admin but this is that so reference the model but this is just saying what I mean it's saying can... without referencing anything we just made a decision it can do everything right. Um, or they can't do can't do anything. Uh, so I I think we're not we're not expressing a negative properly. Right, right. Um, it's it's going to be something simple, but I've actually got to go. Um, I think I'll um, uh, commit this and uh, just push to my repository just so it's there. Right. Before, um, the stage stage commit. Um, mm. uh, two to nine, if you want to put. Yeah. Line two to nine. <laughs> Okay, thanks very much. I'll hang yep. up and have, have got, got to leave the office now. All right. All right. Talk All right. to you thanks another a lot. time. Yep. That's great. Bye. All right, bye bye.